pressured musky waters. Uh, pressured musky waters can be really tough to fish, but they generally have a reason for that much pressure. There's big fish, there's a lot of fish for some reason. There's a few baits that I think people need to throw more of to possibly get those pressured fish to bite. And we're gonna go through some of those now. Uh, first bait that really comes to mind is swim baits. Swim baits are kind of new to the musky world, right? They're always for bass fishing or walleye fishing. They've now been modified to musky size. They're very subtle, very different, and half the time I think bass guys catch more muskies than musky guys do. Um, and I think swim baits are a really great bait to have in your box. It's something you need to have at least one or two of different sizes or colors. Swim baits can be really, really good on pressured bodies of water or even just pressured spots. Swim baits are good. Something else, um, a little bit more maybe old school, but I think people forgot about it because they suck to throw are the really big blades. These here are double 13s or what they would call supermodels. Uh, the big blades just push a lot of water. It's something the fish don't really feel. Big profile. These things do get bit still these to this day and I think it's something that the fish don't feel or haven't felt in a really long time and can be like a little bit of a secret on a big pressured body of water. Big bucktails, big blades can be really good. On the flip side of that, also really small bucktails can be good. Single bladed bucktails, can be really, really deadly. Uh, and you can also fish them fast or slow if you, however you wanna fish them. Single bladed bucktails are really versatile and I think they're really underfished, especially on pressured bodies of water. It's a different vibration. And a lot of these fish have only felt the double bladed bucktail feel for the last 12 to 15 years, the age of the fish, uh, since these kind of went out of style that long ago. Still with the bucktails, um, I think a small, thing that I like is when you can get a heavy bucktail. This is a custom one um, from Thorn Brothers and it's a heavy bucktail. It's got heavy wire, it's got thick blades, it's got a bigger sinker in it. Uh, everything is really heavy about this bait so you can fish it very fast. A very fast retrieve rate, high speed reels, more of that reaction bite. A bait just zips by a fish and they, they don't think of it as a bait. They think of it as a, a bait fish that's scared for some reason and they just have to either grab it or chase it and try and grab that bait. Fishing fast or slow is a huge deal on fishing pressured bodies of water. The slow side of things can be something like a flap tail topwater. This is a really cool topwater bait that's very subtle and they can be very, very effective. The thing is, for musky guys, you have to fish slow. It sucks and not a lot of us like to fish slow. We think we have to cover water and just fish hard, 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 go, go, go. But sometimes you just need to slow down pick up a bait like a flap tail that you fish very slow. The only really movement you get out of this bait is this one blade in the back. The rest of it looks really dumb, but a flap tail can be really, really effective. They've got a really nice squeal, they've got a little ping to them, and they can be effective on pressured bodies of water because fish don't see them. Guys don't want to fish them because they have to fish too slow. The other top water that people don't fish enough, I think, are walk the dogs. Walk the dogs are the same thing. You have to fish slow, a lot of guys, when they fish top waters, just grab a prop bait and they're burning it or moving it at a pretty consistent pace where a walk the dog bait, you can slow down, work a weed bed or whatever your structure is very slow and effectively with a walk the dog bait that a lot of fish I don't think see as much as they should because fish like walk the dog baits. They might not always bite them, but they're a very curious bait and you can see that the fish are there. You can come back and maybe try one of these other baits to get one of these fish to bite. Another pressured water bait that I like are spinner baits. Uh, I think spinner baits are really cool. I don't think they're used nearly enough in the musky world due to maybe the single hooks um, or just that they're not a bucktail. Everybody thinks they need to throw a bucktail and spinner baits have kind of got forgotten. But spinner baits can be really good on pressured bodies of water. And there's a lot of different kinds of spinner baits that can be very effective. This is just one of the many that I do carry in my boat at all times. Another one is also a top water something very loud and obnoxious. Uh, this is a, a buzz bait and this bait, when it spins, it hits the head and it makes a very loud noise. It's very invasive or it's something that the fish might not really like in their territory. Um, and it's something they have to check out or just get rid of it and eat the thing. They don't want it around, they don't like them. Really cool bait that I always carry with me because sometimes it can help on those pressured bodies of water as well as really, really big rubber. Uh, Monster Medusas can push a lot of water, and I think that those are also very invasive 
and uh, the fish just want them out of there or they don't see things that big because people don't feel comfortable throwing them. So those are a few baits that I like to throw on pressured bodies of water for muskies.